Hello everyone, this is your Tiny Crow back again with another coding session. So this session guys, it's a continuation of our previous session, which was a chat application part one. So this is part two of it guys, and uh, last session, we created a, a one-way or simplex communication, and uh, this video guys, I'm gonna extend it and make it into a full duplex communication. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is, of course, make both of them have the same functionality. So I'll just copy this one second. I'll just copy it. And I'll paste that in our signature. Sorry. Copy this again. Paste it. Okay, so we've done this, guys. So. We do also have to have some differences and enhancements here. So instead, I'll just say conn dot rexcd because here we have it. And instead of saying server set, I'll just say client set. That's what we have there. And now I will have that send function in my client. So I'll just paste it there. One second, I'll just one second. Just uh, get rid of that and paste it there. Okay, great. That's done, but this is not cnn.sen, it's s.sen. Yes, so that's done, guys. And now, next, what we will do is uh, this actually, we will just uh, first uh, do the threads along with our server chat as well. So, first, I'll just import the threading module. Okay, and there's going to be two threads. Last time th there was only one thread in the client side. I'm gonna have one more thread here, guys. So it's uh, so it's going to be thread two. This is not thread one. It's thread two, and this is also thread two. So instead of having the target as RecCV, we will have the target as send, guys. So you can see that there's a one thread for receiving the messages and the other thread for sending the messages. So that's what we're doing out here. And I'll just copy this and paste it here as well. And uh, actually, we're, we're done with our chat application. So I'll just uh, do this and... Oh yeah, and by the way, one more thing is uh, here. We don't have command as RecCV. We have the command that send. Great. Now we're we'll running. And I'll say Python. Python client underscore chat dot py. Enter. And I'll just uh, drag my client here and my server as well. So we have these two. And I'll just say hello. We already know the server is working. It's going to work. But if I say hi from the client, then it's uh, it's gonna work as well. So you can see it says client said hi. So that's working, guys. But one more problem uh, you can notice is that if I say hello, send it again, no output. So for that, guys, uh, I'll just first exit it, exit these two. And here, what I'll do is. Uh, I will keep a while loop in the rec CV in the in here. So you can see that now actually the threading is very useful because while is actually a blocking function. So that's why it's just going to stay in the loop. But that's not what we're doing, right? So that's why threads are very important. So I'll just say while true. And I'll indent these two. Okay, now if, if I try it, it's gonna work. So I'll just do the terminal Python client underscore chat.py, enter. Okay, and I'll drag my uh, client and server as well. So the server's right there. And now if I say hello, send, and this time I'll send multiple times, guys. You can see it works, right? Now, now it's actually working. Hi here. 
then send, 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 and you can see it's working as well. So uh, we're done with this, guys. I'll just exit that and exit this as well. Okay. So that's good, guys. Now, now what we will do is uh, you might have noticed that we're just using print statements, and that's actually kind of boring. You know, we kind of want it in our key changer window. So for that, guys, I'm gonna do some more coding. So the first thing I'll do in here is that I'm going to create a school bar so then we can see all our messages. So I'll just say school bar, school bar is equal to school bar, capital S, school bar, school bar of root. Great, so root is our window just so you guys know. And next what I'll do is I'll create my list box. So my list is equal to list box of and inside I'm going to say root comma y scroll command y scroll command is equal to and I will say in there I'll say scroll bar dot set. And there is no function, there's no function symbol there. So that's good, guys. Uh, so here we're basically saying that, that if you want to scroll from your Y position, then use the scroll bar. Yep, so that's good. Now what you'll do is, uh, now what we're going to do, uh, next we will just say scroll bar, and we're going to configure it. So... I'll just say scroll bar, one second, scroll bar dot config, scroll bar dot config, and inside I'll say command is equal to my list dot y view. Okay, uh, sorry, it's my list dot y view. So you can see that it's work, that that's how it is, because when we have our scroll bar, there's always a, you can see I have a scroll bar right here, but this is like, a, it's actually designed in a different way. But in the TK term window, usually what you see in websites is that there is a, this kind of a big, uh, small line here. And then there's an up arrow and down arrow there. And there's the small area and that's, a, that's, that's a little black area. So that's why in order to make the view like that, we need to keep the configuration. So we're configuring it in two ways. And what I'll do next is I'll just say scroll bar, scroll bar dot path. And I'll just say side is equal to right, all capital. Side is equal to right, comma, fill is equal to y. So we're doing it with our y axis. And next, I'll just say my list of pack. My list of pack. Oh, sorry, my list of pack. And inside, I'll say fill is equal to both in capitals, comma expand is equal to one. So that's great, guys. We're done with that. And uh, one more thing is that oh, again, that's not going to solve the problem. We still have print statements right there. So what I'll do is uh, I will just add an extra an extra condition. So here, or the sorry for that. What I'll do is first I'll take this off, and inside I'll say my list dot insert, and inside I'll keep an end in capitals comma, and then here in quotation I'll keep in client. And then this, and uh, since we cannot enter in commas because you see it expects arguments and it has a maximum of two, so we will just use the Python two syntax. However, there are multiple ways to do it. You can also use string formatting, and uh, also you can use uh, the adding or concatenation, and there's much more. But I I'm gonna use Python two syntax. So if you want to do that, you can do it as well. So for that, I'll say, I'll say percentage s, percent s, and I'll just space it out. 
percentage S, and then I'll say percentage SDR of data. So I have that data right there. So you can see that um, S stands for string, and I'm using the string of data right there. So that's done. Now what I'll do in the send is kind of like the same thing. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it. And I'll say, say you, and I won't say str of data, I'll say str of where one. Great. So that's done guys. And uh, now, I'll do that with the client. So I'll just copy this and paste it in the client side. So right there. And next what I'll do is uh, I will take this and uh, I'll keep in, uh, in the rec CV. I'll say this, okay? So this is not client, it's going to be server because we're on the client side. So that rec CV is like that. And here I'll say control C and I'll paste that in our send function. So I'll just paste it right there. Great. So we're, so we're done guys. Let's just see the final, the final output or how it works. So I'll just say if I can point underscore chat dot pi enter and now I'll, I'll i'll bring the client and it already has a u so that's fine i can fix that by the if condition but let's just check the functionality for now so if i say hello send you hello 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 and it completely works here it says you hello there it says server hello if i say hi here send it client hi you hi and uh, currently there's nothing in the scroll bar and as I told you earlier, we have an up arrow and down arrow, and that's what it is. So I'll just spam it. To, I'll just spam this so then the scroll bar comes out. And it comes out, and indeed, yes, it works. So if I say D, enter, then there's a D. So you can see that its a positioning is also very perfect. So now let's try to fix that small problem we had earlier. So just... Uh, I'll just keep in an if condition down there one second so here in our send i'll just say before this i will just say in the where after that i was sorry but if where one is not equal to length then only I'm gonna do these two. So that's what I have, and let's do the same thing in our client as well. So this, and I'll indent these two, guys. So now you'll see that it won't happen, but you can see that most of our chat application is actually really good and everything works fine. And now even our error is fixed, so I'm pretty sure that our chat application is complete. So again, I'll just drag my client and my server. So one second, one second, I'm just dragging my server. Okay, great. So you can see that that problem is not there anymore. If I say hello, just it's working, right? So that's great. One more thing we might want to do is probably expand this to both sides. So that's fine. That's something that we can do right now. So. Uh, so in here, when we do our entry.pack, we will just say fill is equal to X, capital X. And we can do the same in here as well. So say fill is equal to X. So great. Now, now this should also work, guys. And all I'm doing is just some small, some small design settings. Or else it's fine, really. Tab, enter. And... Uh, I'll just drag in my client, and uh, clearly you guys can see it looks much better. It's expanded on both sides, so that's how it is. And uh, yeah, so our chat application is working really good right now, guys, and it's all good. You can see functionality is also well, design is also well, 
Now our scroll bar is working, so everything is all good. So now I'll just exit this. And so guys, this video, we just uh, basically expanded or extended our simplex communication chat application into our full duplex communication. And next video, guys, I'm going to show you guys a new library in Python. So till then, see you later.